Hi guys! Um, I wanted to do my project pan update and first off I wanted to start by saying that I've been really busy this um, past month and so I didn't get a chance to do a halfway update. Just I had, had absolutely no time. I was so busy with work so I really apologize for that. Um, and hopefully when I do another one of these I'll have more time to do that. But I'm going to go ahead and get started and let you guys know how I did. I will say this, that it was um, harder than I thought it was going to be. I didn't realize that it was going to be so hard um, to go through some of the products. And also that August in Tennessee is the hottest, one of the hottest months out of the year. And I, when it's hot, I just was not feeling wearing very much makeup at all. So I think that's probably one of the reasons why it was a lot harder for me to do this than um, than what I thought it was going to be because when it's cooler I tend to wear a little bit more makeup just because it's not like melting off my face or adding to the, the slimy goo that's going on <laughs> here to begin with. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the foundation. Okay, um, I started out up here, um, and then, uh, I get to this point at the halfway mark. I didn't, I marked some of the stuff that I got to at the halfway mark. And, um, so I was using it, and I noticed that I started getting all these clogged pores. I, I, you can't see it on the camera, I don't think, but I have, um clog pores and then I would break they would turn into little like white heads so it's sorry about that that was my phone <laughs> um, this is the only thing that I can think of that was doing it and I think just because it's so old because it's probably like um, sorry I got something in my eye um, since it was like two years old a little over two years old um, I think that it just had a bunch of funky bacteria in it. So when I saw that, I quit using it just because it's not worth it to try to use it up and then have your face break out. It's obviously bad if it's doing that and putting bad bacteria into my skin. So I have been trying to like, um, like kind of use more exfoliating products to take out some of the um <laughs> to clear some of my pores so i didn't use any more of this than right here other than that but okay yeah so that's it on that um next was my nars um translucent crystal light reflecting powder i really really love this powder and i kind of like didn't go through it as quick as i thought i was going to because i like it so much and I didn't want to use it up. I don't know why, but sometimes when you, for me, when I have a product that it can be just like the little bears dregs and I, I'm like, but I, I don't want to lose you. Like, like I can't just go and buy something, go and buy it again, but I don't know why, but <laughs> I've been like saving every dreg because I really do love this, this powder a lot, but um, it's almost completely empty. I don't know if you, you'll be able to see that or not, but there's really not that much left. There's probably like two more uses, but I'm going to be so sad when it's gone. I mean, like, not sad, but because the point is to use it up, but, um, when I go through a couple more powders, I'm going to get more of this because I really, really liked it. Um, next was my Yes to Carrot Soothing hypoallergenic facial towelettes right there and I only had two left so I used them in the two days after I filmed the first video um next was my rapid clear acne defense lotion and when I started out the beginning it was right here and I used this up within the first two weeks of starting the project pan and um yeah so, um, next was this L'Oreal Magic Lumi, um, light infusing primer. And I really, really love this primer, especially in the winter time. Um, I got to here on 
my halfway mark and I just kind of quit using it because I was so greasy and sweaty from the hot, humid month that um, I quit using it because I didn't need to glow anymore. I didn't feel like it. So I didn't use any more of that, but I know as it cools off that I will be. Um, next is this, um, it's a Maybelline, I, I don't know the exact name because it, the writing wore off, but it's um, a Maybelline under eye brightening concealer kind of thing, and this one's in the shade Radiant. I did use this, I will not buy it again because I felt like it got really dry under my eyes and it creased a lot. And also, I have this problem with um, correctors under my eye that they tend to be way too orange or peachy on my skin tone because I'm so fair that it just, it looks darker than my skin still. And I was telling one of the guys at the Mac counter that's close to where I live about that. And he's like, yeah, because you're, I, I'm just so fair. Like, I just cannot use this. So I will not purchase another one of these again. And I, I haven't been able to find any kind of under eye corrector to use under there. So I think they're just not meant for me or whatever. But yeah. Okay. Um, next was my um, Tarte New York Minute lip gloss that I had that I got in a um, that I got in a um, gift set the year before last and I really really love this lip gloss um, it, as you can see I don't know if you can see it but it's pretty done so yeah it was really good I love the color because I really like cool tone pinks um, and it's super minty if you if you don't like mint you're not gonna love it or like it because it's really minty, and but I personally like it. I like how mint feels on my lips, but yeah. So I, I went ahead and I used that up. Um, another thing was my Anastasia Brow Wiz in medium, medium ash. Yeah, um, this is what it looks like. I probably have like two more uses left with this, but um, I, I haven't really... I, don't, I haven't went through it that much just because, like I said, I had, wasn't wearing that much makeup. Um, but there's probably two more uses, so I'm not really concerned about that. So it'll be done pretty quick. And I love those pencils, but I'm going to get a shade lighter the next time because I feel like that shade's too dark. And I just, with my darker hair, um, I feel like it makes me look like Groucho Marx. So I'm like with it but um when I was plat when I had blonde hair I liked my eyebrows being a little bit darker but with this brunette here I think it looks a little better to have my eyebrows lighter I don't I don't know if that makes any sense but just me personally yeah that's what I like um next is the Thayer Real um Benefit Mascara I really 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 love this mascara but um, it started to dry out and I added some eye drops and then I was reading an article on when you add um, fluids to your mascara how it kind of like makes the bacteria grow like way worse than what originally it started out doing and so um, I was like yikes I don't want an eye infection so it was done like a month ago and I'm gonna let it go um, with that. Next was my, um, let's see, go with this. Um, my e.l.f. contouring and blush palette in St. Lucia. Um, that's how far I got. Um, but I, I did hit pan like where you could finally see it. I wish I would have used more of it, but um, I really found find that this, um, I haven't been spray tanning, I haven't been into it, so this um, bronzer is so dark on me, and it makes me look kind of orangey Oompa Loompa-ish, so I didn't use it that much, I've just been using it like on my neck and chest, 
And then this blush, um, that's okay. I kind of like more cool tone blushes just on me personally. So, um, I've been struggling to use that up, but I will, um, keep working at it. <laughs> I'm kind of disappointed that that's not gone. Um, next was my Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner in East End Snob. This was, this is my favorite lip liner, and I used it up the day after I filmed the first video, so that one is done and over with. Um, next are these samples of, um, where is it, the L'Oreal, um, Pore Vanisher. Okay, so I've had these for a bit, and when I open them, okay, it was like separated between, it was like this clear liquid, and then you would squeeze more, and it would be like the pore filling blurring stuff, but I didn't want to put that on my face with my face already breaking out enough as it was from the foundation, so I didn't even open this one because I got them all at the same time, and I don't think that that's going to, I don't, I don't want to like make acne worse on my face, so I, I opened this one and I saw that it was gross and then I opened this one and that one was even more gross so I was like never mind so I'm finished with these and they're done and I'm glad because um, from what I can remember I didn't like it uh, next was this Garnier five second blur this really wasn't that bad um, it it wasn't that bad it was pretty close to the, um, what is it, Benefit Pore Filler. It was pretty close to that, kind of, slightly comparable, I thought. Um, but it wasn't bad, and it really helped me out in the, when I was sweating a lot. <laughs> Next was this Jara or Wara um, Facial Cleanser, and this smelled really nice. It smelled like milk. Or cream um, it it wasn't like I'm not gonna swoop, like search this out and buy it because I feel like yeah it wasn't that great <laughs> um, next I still have this Clinique primer that I need to try that I, I didn't even break into so I still gotta work on that and then next is the Urban Decay anti-aging primer um, I, I still haven't cracked that open either. <laughs> Next was my, um, Ole Hendrickson Reparative Anti-Aging Oil. This smelled so good, but I didn't feel like it really did much to my skin other than just be an oil. And I'm like, well, I could just use coconut oil and it's a lot less expensive. The only thing that I really, really liked about it was the smell because I really like citrus smells. So, yeah. I'm, I wouldn't, I don't want to get it. <laughs> okay, next was my Urban Decay Sin, and then the Urban Decay Original Primer Potions. The Sin, I didn't really like it because it was a sparkly one, and I guess you could just wear this as an eyeshadow, or if you're into that, but I'm not. Um, it was really similar to, like, uh, the Maybelline color tattoos, and barely branded maybe a little bit darker but eh. I'm glad it's gone there um, next is the Urban Decay original and I don't really like this either just because um, it was really sticky and I want a eyelid primer that's gonna have some um, like tone correcting benefits because I do have kind of like redness on my eyelids and veins and stuff like that so um, next is the Their Real Makeup Remover. I haven't even busted this open, but I probably will do it tonight. Uh, uh, next was my Maybelline New York Eyesh Expo Wear Eyeshadow in Linen. I have been using this, but I don't feel like I made any kind of dent in it. And I was, I've been using it as my, like, primer shadow. Like, 
I put it over my primer and then just blend it all over my eyelid and up to my brow bone to um, help blend the rest of my eyeshadow better. But um, yeah, it, eyeshadows are really hard to get through. They really are so hard. Um, and the other one is this is this um, Wet n Wild eyeshadow in. I don't, oh, Snow Blossom that I've had for a long time. Um, I wound up repressing it, and so it looks like there's a lot more, but there's just like a really super thin layer on the pan. Um, so it's probably like two more uses, and then I'll be gone, and that will be awesome because it's super old, even though I really like that, and I wish I had an eyeshadow that was similar to that again, and I, that's one of those products that I've just been hanging on to because um, I like it so much that I don't want it to go, <laughs> like, all attached to it, but it needs to go because it it's just gets really disgusting to keep stuff. Um too long. Next was my Lancome, or Estee Lauder. It was like a little duo that I got when I purchased some, um, if you purchased X amount, then you got like these little, this little goodie bag or whatever. And, um, I repressed this petal pink colored one. So there's really not that much left. Um, and then this color, I, I think that it looks like I've made a little bit more of a dent, but I can't really tell. I hope that it does. Um, but, yes. It was a lot harder to go through the eyeshadows than what I thought. It was, it's, it takes a while. <laughs> um, just because it's such a tiny little space on your face. Next was the, um, and lastly, was my... Or no, not lastly, I have one more thing. The Dior Jador perfume. And I had like eight samples of these. And I hate the smell of this perfume. I'm really sorry if you like it, but I can't stand it. And I tried to wear it to use it up. And I, I couldn't because it was just so gross to me. So I went into my closet and took like clothes that were in the back that are for the winter time that I'm not ready to pull out and I just just used them all up in one like in like 10 minutes I just went through and sprayed a bunch of clothes but now my closet kind of stinks <laughs> but I'm so happy it's gone because I'm really not a fan of that um, last product was my St. Ives mineral therapy lotion um, I started out there and then made it to there halfway and now it's all done. Um, I didn't wear this that much until it started to cool off like, recently. Just because um, when it's hot, I feel like if you have any kind of emollient lotion, which this really isn't that emollient, but it's like jelly-ish. But when I would get all sweaty, I felt like I would just get like extra slimy. So I kind of put off finishing it up until recently. Um, that, and I really hated the smell so much. I will never buy this again. I've really been liking just using coconut oil, so I'm glad this is gone. Um, I don't think I have any other body lotions to use, so that is awesome. And I'm so happy that that's gone. Um, but, oh, I, I do want to say that I did use some products, um, from the ones that I finished up to kind of, like, start working on them, and, because I did say that I was going to do that, um, and one of the things was, after I finished that perfume, was to work on this Gons Broadus by Estee Lauder, which, when I started out, that's how much I had, um, and now it's empty. I really like this, especially in the summertime. It just kind of smells like the beach. It smells like the beach. I love it. Um, so I did use that. And then when I finished my lotion, I started working on this Yes to Carrots. Um, or Yes to Blueberries. Intensive Repair Serum. And I'm almost finished with this one as well. Um, yes. I probably have just a few more pieces. And then, let's see. When I finished my mascara, 
I started working on the L'Oreal Voluminous, which I had opened right before I did the video, or a little bit before. So I'm finished with it now just because it's been open for quite a while, and it, I, I don't want to put bacteria around my eye area. Um, and then with the lip liner, when I finished that, I started working on this NYX pinky beige lip liner. I don't think, this is all I have left of it. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I think that's it. Um, this was a whole lot harder than what I thought it was going to be. Um, I hope that next time I do better. I did do really well on the no buy and I kind of like doing the no buy just because I was able to save money instead of just picking up like little random bits of makeup here and there. I, I, I really enjoyed to try the new products that come out but it was really nice to go two months and not. I don't know I just kind of saved that money or yeah anyway um I really hope you guys enjoyed this and I do plan on doing another project pan um after um probably in a few more months but my favorite time of year for makeup is coming up and it's when they do all the little holiday packages um so I'm not gonna do that because I don't want to do a no buy or anything like that but I will keep trying to work through some of the products that I didn't finish during that time and then I'll probably you know start another one and I'll just add in the things that I haven't finished and then add in a few more products that I want to use as well but thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope this encourages you to try to work through some of the stuff that you already have um, I that's how I even found out about doing this um, was on a video another video that I saw that I was like huh you know because just this time in my life I'm really really enjoying just using the stuff I have and if I don't have it or just really really just really love it then it needs to go either to someone else or in the garbage but preferably to someone else because I don't want to have something that I don't really like and I don't use when there's someone else out there that can have that exact same product and every time they see it, whether it's clothes or makeup or, I mean, whatever it is, any home decor or anything, I think when they have it and they use it, they are really happy and excited and love it. And I just, that that's just where I am right now in my life. So um, I've really been enjoying doing that. I went through a lot of stuff in my closet too and really got rid of a lot more things. Um, but it's quite almost freeing to have less and I know that in just I, I don't want to say like America because I I can't say that and know for sure from other countries or anything but our society is just so driven by consumerism and it really makes you think like you need to have all these things um, like they're going to make you happy and even unconsciously you might not you know you think that even though you may not seem because I didn't ever think of myself like that but I started noticing that I just had too much stuff and it was getting overwhelming and the more I let things go the more free that I feel and happier I am um I hope that kind of makes sense but um yeah it's been really a good experience and really I'm happy that I'm at this point in my life right now um I wouldn't change it it's a good thing anyway I, I hope that encourages you to feel like I don't have to have everything or you know just keep things and have things that you love and that make you happy and if they don't those products or things don't do that for you then just let them go to someone that they can make happy with. I, I hope that made it sense and 
it wasn't all like rambly or anything because I can do that <laughs> or keep repeating myself about the topic or whatever. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe to my videos. I'll try to upload more um, actively in the coming months. But anyway, thank you so much. Bye.